Taylor Swift. I do not like her. I hate her music. I hate her face. I hate her eyes. I hate the stupid songs that she writes about. Every single song is like the same fucking song. And now she has this hit. We are never, 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 never getting back together. This is a song. This is a music. This is sounds like shit. Rebecca Black's Friday was better than this song because people really do like Friday. It just happened to be a horrible song. But Taylor Swift is a Grammy Award winner writing these stupid songs that are all the same. Every fucking song is the same song formula about another guy who broke her heart and now she's going to bash them nationally in a song that's going to air to all radio stations and television like what a little freaking loser she is like can she write something maybe about her life dealing with drugs or alcohol or fucking getting hit by a car or something that's a little more substantial than the same stupid pattern of writing about breaking up with guys and in every song, it's always them who messed up. The guy did something wrong. Taylor, like, you seem a little nuts. Like, you have to publicly bash all these celebrity guys that you date. Like, maybe something's a little wrong with you. If I were a guy in Hollywood and I was going to date Taylor Swift or I was talking, I would stay clear. I think that every guy should stay clear from her because... They should know by now, the second that relationship ends, she's going to write a fucking song about you and how much she, how much you hurt her and killed her heart and broke her fucking face. Like, seriously, seriously, I don't like Taylor Swift. I hate her music. I hate everything about her. She, she goes, she's all over the freaking television. Everywhere you turn, it's freaking Taylor Swift. She writes songs like a third grader. Everyone says, oh, she's so talented because she could play the guitar and she can write. Who gives a fuck? The Beatles did that too, didn't they? And they actually had legit songs that had meaning and, and real significance to them. And there, here comes this little... 22 year old girl who was I guess 18 or 17 when she started this business and her music is just whack Taylor Swift you're whack can you write something a little more meaningful maybe about not about a person you know why don't you write about something else that has more significance than the crap that's, that, that's all over the radio I swear to god every single time I hear that never 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 getting back together song I want to change the station because this is crap and there's so much crap on the radio these days and I'm sorry if I sound like an old woman because I'm not I'm only 27 but music was is not what it used to be I listen to music from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and this so this generation of music and the shit that I have on the radio everything just comes together it's country mixed with techno mixed with dance mixed with hip-hop and there's no genres anymore everything's just what's gonna sell what's gonna sell well Taylor Swift your shit sucks and I don't know why people actually buy your music or or, or think you're so charming and wonderful and darling you're no Annoying. You're annoying. And I think that your 15 minutes should be up already because you've write, written about 15 songs that all sound the same and they all talk about the same shit. So let's 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 move away from Taylor Swift and go something up, up to give the credit to an artist who actually has meaning because Taylor Swift, you're whack and you're fired. Bye bye.